Once again, folks, I am starting my stream up for the morning. I've already done my dailies, which led to my weekly, which led to my monthly, which led to me getting wood gleam to give to uh, my wood Balrona. She's now at two gleams, uh, which led to me getting a holy gleam, which I gave to my dark Sarah. She's now at one gleam, working towards Evo 2. Uh, and then I'll work on the extra Sarahs to get her to Evo 3. Eventually, that's going to take a really long time. Uh, right now, though, I am working on setting up to do my Colossus for the day. I absolutely failed, regardless of the number of times I tried and different changes I made for the Colossus yesterday. I still cannot survive the saps that the sap Colossus is throwing on me and do enough damage for my saps. Best I got, I got it to about one sixth of its health left before I just died. And there was jack crap I could do about it. I've got really good resistance units. I've got units throwing one turn saps. Um, I just I can't punch through it yet. So rather disappointing because I was working on building up towards being able to do that. Um, before I go into the Colossus, I'm going to go ahead and do one of these hourly right now, or I say hourly, one of these 10 minutes. So I'm trying to keep my PvP at less than 10. Because if you go if you hit 10, it means you're wasting uh, earned PvP, PvP points. You get one every about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I think it's every 10 minutes you get one. <laughs> I was just asked how one of my characters talks to another. something for a character of mine in a D&D game, so I was typing. I need to finish it, but i got to get Trump to load up first so I can get something loaded. And I need to look at page 277 of the Player's Handbook to look up the answer to this question real quick. Can I use Speak with Animals to speak with somebody with a higher intelligence? I did whole oh, I landed the seal on most of their units. That's awesome. And take that light verd. Whack you with my SP nail. Bye-bye, Fire Yuki. You're going to die on this set of attacks. Oh, you didn't die. Yay! 
All right, so can I kill off the fire valve? Yes, I can. Sweet. Uh, next up, let's see if we can tag off on anybody with a break. Nope. Mm. Best chance here is a seal. My Yuki's going to be dead regardless of whether I healed or not, so did not land the seal. Something that I would. Oh, she actually... Pfft. I, I stand corrected. She actually lived. They didn't actually target her for nearly enough damage to kill her. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and take out their damage dealer right now, because leaving her alive is just leaving me with lots of pain. Um, we'll go ahead and throw the damage over on the person taking bonus damage. She did not SP steal my personal full SP. That was interesting. Normally she does. Defense down. Ha! All right. Well, make this a bit easier. And she falls down. Alright, so now we're going to actually go over to the Ancient Golem. This one I can actually beat fairly easily. Say that, watch, I fail, but fairly easily this team will win this fight. And I shouldn't even need to swap my team out to do it. Alright, so check this out. Go for the hit. Did not get a defense break. We'll go ahead and hit him again with everybody else. Try for the hit on the boss again. Landed at that time. Everybody else can hit him again. Okay, so this is where the sequencing becomes a little bit more important. So you can go, you can go, you can go, and you, my friend, have to SP siphon off this dude, like that. So we are going to oh, hit the wrong person, of course, because that guy was pointless to hit. Continue with the SP siphon on the guy on the right. He's uh, honestly the only of uh, the only minion in this fight that matters, and you have to make sure you SP siphon him last. Because if you SP siphon him and it's not last, he just gets the SP back. I say siphon. Uh, it's SP steal, not a siphon. To be more technical about it. So hit him again. Hit him again. Sarah alts. Hit him. <coughs> He's under half. He should use his alt now. Yep. See, the thing is, my team, the alts aren't really all that necessary to win this fight. Mm, all right. Just because I've got so many debuffs on that team, I'm going to switch the teams over. Bring this one over. Let this whack on him some. If she crits, she also has the SP theft, which is enough. So she critted. Hmm. 
Everybody can stay on target on this guy. Tag back over here. I can switch teams back again. 70,000 points of damage on that attack. Uh, attack damage from the bird was almost criminally insane for the crit on the bird's attack for damage on this guy. Back to the Colossus and bird, Canna. It's actually funny, I've actually got two birds technically attacking this because Canna sends her bird off to do the attacks. And then SP Theft the minion. Hundred and twelve thousand damage against the guy. That's absolutely awesome, and he should be just about dead at this point. Oh, just about, not quite. See, in this entire fight, I did not let the right unit get an alt off at all. The defense breaks. It really just don't matter at this point. And he falls down. So I can get the Wood Colossus pretty easy. Technically, I probably don't even have to switch my teams out to do it. And that gem is... That gem's a nice gem! Yay! Hit points of the Magi gem. Not bad. That actually is a, probably one of the better gems I've gotten since they redid the um, Colossus dungeon. All right, so we're going to hit it again. So if I can get SP, I should get SP. All right, SP, the points towards getting the five star. So we go for the crit uh, to get the defense break. Everyone at this point can just attack him. So I don't need to SP theft the other guy until it starts getting full. Just let this auto attack. My guys are feeling all healed up because they are. This is where I have to start SP thiefing off of him. Uh, you're the longest alt. You're a long alt, and you are a long-ish, not really long alt. And then, like I said, this one has to be the last to attack. So I got an attack down on. Oh, oh, they both got cleansed off. Oh well. All right, so we're going to go back here, see if we can land the defense break again. Not that time. Go ahead and trigger both of those. Defense break. Oh, went after the wrong guy because I forgot to reselect. Now, I didn't use the Sarah's ult there because she still has the attack down debuff on her. And it's elemental advantage if I wait. Well, it's always elemental advantage on her ult. But if I wait and she's not attacked down, that's far better than me attacking while she has the attack down on her. I get the defense break. I did. So you'll see a marked difference in damage at this point if she crits. Yeah, so she just did basically like 100,000 points of damage. Uh, and then again, the SP theft on the right minion. As opposed to the wrong minion. Alright, so we got to go for the defense break again. Didn't get it that time, but that's okay. By the way, my um, bolt wing has hit point siphon gems on it, dragon gems. So... Whenever she does damage, she actually is healing herself. And actually, for right now, with all the debuffs on them, I wanted just to pull them out because he's going to ult in a moment, and I didn't want them to take the ults. Oh, actually, he had just ulted, so they did take the ult. But anyway, they'll get a little bit of healing on their downtime, which is all right. 
and in the meantime I can set these guys attack and then I can switch teams back out again in just a moment. Although honestly I don't have to, it's just this team doesn't have a defense break on it. Um, you know, I think I'm going to let this team take one more set worth of attacks. This way they'll take the boss's um, defense break and that'll be a wash. Because I'll switch them out and it won't be an issue. Alright, so switch them out. And defense break attempts. Success. Siphon. Yeah, so this, to me, this is the, even though it takes a little bit of clicking to pull off, this is for me the easiest Colossus to take out. Um, I've got attack downs on all my guys. The other team does not, so I'm just going to swap teams out. Crits. Crits and hits. And I forgot to reallocate my target to the correct target, which was him. Alright, so I can switch teams back again after this one, and then that'll finish the uh, Colossus off. And switch. And hits, and hits, and hits. Oh, alright, not quite finished him off yet. So one more turn. If I'd landed the defense break, I would have finished him off. There's the defense down. Yeah, so I lose about 50,000 damage if I ult with the Sarah while she has an attack down on her against the Colossus, but it was still enough to kill the guy off, so. And this gem is eh, not the greatest of gems, so we're just going to sell it. Because I need the coin, and it only had two substats on it, so it wasn't worth keeping. Um, go back over to PvP, hit the PvP up again. Do a quick check to see if there are any double wood teams out here so that I can destroy them. There currently are not, so I'll just do 15 or 4. Turn the auto off. All right, so we're going to go after their defense breaker. Ooh, he is a squishy unit, which means he's going to punch hard. But if he goes after, okay, so he went after the Persephone, which is okay with me because she's got the best defense on my team. Doubled up on the Shivas. Try to remember my mouse was. One of my uh, viewers from the Netherlands actually joined my guild yesterday, so that was pretty cool. Seal attempt. Seal is not successful. We're going to go ahead and hit the Shiva since the Shiva doesn't actually self heal. Oh, this is going to be fun. Shock, heal, defense break attempt with super alts. Go ahead and throw the combos in on it. 
seals across the board. Nice. Bouncing off of my defenses. Also nice. Shock attempts. Seal attempts. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Shiva because this is the best time to burn it down when it's shocked and it cannot heal because the Persephone can't heal it right now. Alt. The Shiva should be dead. Both Shivas are dead. That was damn nice. Um, we're going to go ahead and focus in some damage over on the Water Arthur so he stays a little bit injured from the heal coming in. Oh, I forgot that I've got the Persephone too. Haha, <laughs> he stays very injured because he's dead. Um, and now we just are going to focus and burn down. I actually I actually would prefer she ults because she doesn't heal when she ults. So I want her to get the SP and then I'll throw my shield so she can't turn me to stone and won't do any damage. And while that's happening, she doesn't heal and I will peg her for damage. So I took no damage, didn't get turned to stone and she did not heal herself during that time. Oop, I thought I might have enough XP to trigger her all, but I didn't. Yeah, oop. Water Persephone's I can burn down with the fire squad, it just takes time. This should finish her off, I expect. Yep, with the defense break, she had no defense against my attack. Um, I guess I'll go, go ahead and hatch up an egg. <laughs> Get up the water. Three star. Gordon Ramsay, or they call it whatever they renamed it, but to me it will always remain the Gordon Ramsay. Um, crystals, again, I'm not going to spend crystals on anything but the gleams. I've got a lot of stuff to gleam still, so I could use them. While getting a guaranteed 5-star would be nice, it's not going to be what I really want, and the 4 or 5-star is way too pricey for my blood. Alright, so that's been done. Now, I am trying to hunt for the harvest cookies. I, mean, I want to go back and talk to the Nez on the ship. I'm pretty sure it's any map you have a chance for it to drop. And it ends in 13 days. So unless you get enough of the, you, unless you get 490 cookies in 13 days, you cannot get the Holy Gleam. And if you want the heroic egg, you need another three night. Yeah, okay. So this is another case of me just doing a whole bunch of normal ass missions. Um, yep. Because that's the only way to pull that off in the amount of time that you have. Go ahead and collect my eggs. And let's just say. Uh, Simpsons reference, excellent smithers, excellent, incubators, have some eggs up. And then we will melt down those eggs, one, two, three, four, five, melted. Five, melted. All right, so the goal for me on these normal maps is to go the, well, I actually got one of the four stars, is to go the highest level map that I can successfully complete in the fastest amount of time, or in the least amount of time, because it obviously would be successful, but I want to be able to do fast runs 
as quickly as possible to get as many runs as possible in. Um, I don't really have the goal to do these mergers right now, so I'm not going to do the mergers at the moment. Actually, I can toss a few more units over into my stash. Let me go down to double check the water drake. Yeah, okay. So I'll probably take the water drake with me and do the... I'll show you what runs I'm going to do because I can do them very quickly. I can actually throw all of these. I have to actually click over to manage first. Elements. One, two, three, four. Toss these four back into my stash. Considering I've gotten rid of a lot of units, I still have a lot of units in my inventory. It's got, what, 28? So I've got 32 free slots at the moment. Part of it is because I'm keeping slots open. Um, well, there, there are multiple reasons. You know what? Today is Wood Dungeon. Let me, let me double check that I have enough wood shards to upgrade the Balrona when I want to do it. If I don't, I need to go and run some wood shard dungeons. Valrona is here. Ascension. I don't. I need 10 more wood stones for mids. Um, let me go ahead and hit that dungeon right now and complete that. Because, um, actually, let me double check. The wood is the hit points drag, so the Balrona is more of an issue speed-wise for me to get at the moment. So, um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> can I do this any faster than with this team here? Probably if I bring somebody besides the Fire Yuki, her attack speed is not the fastest. So. Let's say if I bring him, eleven and a half, fifty two, doing quick adds, fifty nine, seventy nine with the sets, thirteen, eighteen. So if it was a hundred, it would be ninety nine minus two, he's got a ninety eight percent crit chance. So we'll bring him. Um, he should be critting basically every attack. And we'll just do an auto set for this. So I'm, I'm hunting in here right now just to get 10 midstones for wood, and then I'm going to go do maps for... If I find some more Tina's great, if I don't, whatever, I'm not really looking for them. I'm looking for cookies when I hit the maps. on this first wave. Well, consider them ulted out. So the Siegfried should max out his SP. He did. So then this should finish off this wave. Oh yeah, for sure this finishes off this wave. Oh, never mind, I guess it didn't. Well, I guess not. The wave's dead now, though. You know, I'm actually tempted to pull the Persephone out. I think I will pull the Persephone out.
Oh, this is, yeah, this is taking a lot longer without the defense break anyway. All right, so the Leo's coming out, the Yuki's going back in, the Persephone's coming out. That took a lot longer than it should have taken. You're out, you're out. The Yuki is going back in. Yeah, we're going to put in <coughs> your gems are definitely a weird set of gems on you right now <laughs> for hit points and crit and an attack up probably should level that gem a little bit but I would need money to do that I don't currently have a lot of money but it wouldn't take much money to do it it would make these runs go a lot faster let me level that gem up just a little Do 20 upgrades on it. Or until I get to plus, say, 6, because after 6 is when it really starts falling off. Who knows, maybe I'll get something other than a recovery boost. Nope. <laughs> maybe I'll go to 9 if I can get there in these numbers. That's really sucky. I got two sets of recovery boosts on this gem. Didn't all right. I did mention after six is when I started failing a lot more. That's the last one. Saturday is gonna be free gem upgrade. And I'm not gonna burn any more gem upgrades on this. But I did what I wanted. I got it to plus six, and the attack boost is what was mattering uh, for this. So you're out. You're out. The Yuki is in, and I'll throw the dragon in. These runs should go a lot faster than the first one did. Three minutes was an absurdly long run for the green, uh, uh, the green shard. Okay, so let's see how this goes. One's dead. Siegfried's already at max. Yeah, this is going off better. So he's now dead. The next wave is then dead. The next wave is all sorts of extra dead. My scheme should be fully charged up again going into the last wave. The Yuki will be at super super ability coming into the final wave. Yeah, okay, the Yuki wasn't super ability yet, but you see the difference in how quickly they just clean that up. Now the Yuki's at super. There's the defense break. I like the dragon's alt coming in from left to right, just blowing across the field at a line of fire. And the Titan dies, or the Titan, the uh, Wood Guardian dies here. Okay, yeah, so that was a lot faster of a run.
to a minute 53. That's not that far off from where the run should be running. Of course, of course, I keep getting high stones, and I don't need them right now. Um, I've got a quest to pick up, but I'll wait until I'm under by 25 energy, because that's probably what the quest is to get energy. Well, these last two laps are dead. I don't think Yuki alone is going to kill the wave. I came really damn close. Massive overkill damage on it. If I just tell it to focus on that one, although it doesn't matter because all the side minions <laughs> just die outright. I did get the defense break on the first turn though, and now I've got the super Evo ult going off and landed crits on it. So, like 180,000 damage, 160, 180,000 something damage there. That was a really good run speed wise. Yeah, I'm in a 44. Okay, so I'm going to let that run. I need, like I said, 10. There's two of them. I've gotten by far, far more woods, high stones.
<laughs> All right, so I'm going to change out the broadcast just a little bit. So I'm going to stop and restart it um, because I've completed the Wood Colossus. I'm just going to remove that from my little description here. We're going to update that information. Move this back over. I'm going to stop the broadcast momentarily. Uh, this will be my end for my YouTube presentation. Uh, anyway, hope the Colossus bit was helpful at the beginning. Have fun, everybody, on YouTube, and I'll be back streaming on Twitch in just a moment.